when it comes down to a group, whatever that group may be, whatever they preach, how can you make the differential between that particular belief or understanding and another? How can you discern what particular belief may or may not be more realistic, more practical, more likely to actually work? Logically, the most efficient means of actually testing this is to actually test the belief itself. Does it prove itself? Is it something that actually functions in reality? These sorts of questions are very important when it comes down to any particular belief, understanding, religion, philosophy, politics or culture. Certain things you might want to accept, certain things you may not wish to accept, but still you can test it fairly independently and confirm what may or may not be according to the facts or at least a sound level of logic behind said belief. When it comes down to groups like Destiny, they're coming from a position of faith. Belief in a system of self-help, conspiracy theories, various ideas on the nature of the universe, including certain esoteric and New Age beliefs. They follow a guru who basically speaks ultimate truth and they have many political and social ideas they wish to implement. These ideas are not absolutely true, absolutely logical, although, as with indeed any belief, they are possible. Would they work in reality? Depends what you mean by reality. That's the problem with New Age, esoteric and occult ideas, as well as with politics, religion, and, of course, conspiracy theories. Many of the ideas, many of the so-called truths of destiny, do not work in reality. They are simply a question of belief, not truth. They're a question of particular views of the world. They're not a solid actuality. How they prove the beliefs of this group, the members, the supporters and the sympathisers, is by repeating the philosophical and political points of view of the destiny group. Philosophy and political views, which are indeed part of their philosophy, are not sufficiently evidential. Therefore, they have not proven their belief to be a solid actuality. Despite their best intentions, despite their best hopes, their desires for a better future, in the way in which is instructed by Bernard Pullman, the leader of Destiny, they cannot confirm that their ideas policies and understandings are indeed the logical truth, let alone the actual truth. The ideas are based upon mysticism in some cases, as with Sonette Spies and the idea of her being the Resonances, an educator on interdimensional matters, or her previous role as the interdimensional portal where she channeled, or to use destiny speak, she portaled various beings, forms, gods and objects, as well as various phenomena. With these ideas being so far from observed reality, the only thing you can do if you wish to believe that particular belief to be true is 
basically emphasize that these ideas must be true through philosophical means. It must be true because it must be true. You use a limited philosophy as opposed to a truly free thinking philosophy to express a particular idea as being true, as being an actuality. This does not prove it to anyone, apart from those who are easily influenced, those who wish to believe, those who wish to follow said belief. In the end, it has to be a question of faith. If you believe in the ideas of destiny and other groups like them. Unless you can present actual proof, actual evidence of these things being a solid actuality, then it's mere hearsay. Hearsay with a particular view, which sounds very progressive in some cases. In other cases, sounds like it's very bizarre. But in all cases, far from fully confirmed. So it'd have to be a question of faith in order to follow devoutly the ideas of the destiny group. Since you cannot confirm a broad variety of points relating to the group and those things you can confirm as being at least logical in some ways such as the ideas of equality and in some cases equal money has some logic to it you cannot confirm it is the only way the only way these things can be done to bring about equality to bring about true um, greater equality around the world for humanity or indeed for life in general. If there are alternatives, if there are different ideas, different concepts which can be expressed, which can be used to gain a level of equality, or that might be even more productive than the Destonian ideas, to believe that destiny is the only way in that kind of context would be a question of faith more than anything else. So whether it comes down to the Destonian ideas of, well, interdimensional beings, existence beyond the physical, enlightenment, knowledge, self-honesty, whichever terms are best applicable, without proof, without actual evidence which they can present, it is not a solid reality. It is not a solid view. And their cop-out, in the end, after debate after debate, has been to say, reality is a matrix. So even if you pin them down, dismantle a philosophy, and confirm they are indeed deceptive, they can always just simply say, oh, reality is a matrix manifestation of the mind, and therefore no evidence can be presented because even if we had the evidence you would not be able to perceive it because we're in a reality matrix of existence. So basically they can never be proven wrong. They can always be proven right because they can repeat their catchphrases like equal money, equal life, self-honesty etc. And therefore they assume that because they can keep on doing this and because they have faith, it must be true. I would say, this is my opinion, disagree if you will, that destiny is a religion because they have the belief, they have the faith that their truth, or so-called truth, is the absolute truth. They don't need proof because they have philosophy. They don't need to believe what you tell them. Accept those ideas. They can just keep on professing certain greater truths, things that would happen if they somehow received power in a nation or indeed globally. It's all hypothetical. Unconfirmed, indeed unconfirmable. And even if you pin them down, expose them for being the 
frauds they are. All they need to do is claim that reality is a matrix. That we live in the matrix. That they're the ones escaping the matrix. And therefore they have the greater truth. And you're preaching some kind of control system. Which is a manifestation of the physical reality in which we live. <laughs> 